when you are full of the holy ghost there are three things that the holy ghost will make you say ephesians 5 19 please let's hurry up give it to us speaking to yourselves in number one psalms i leave that one for next year most of you do not know the power of psalms you see these psalms you see is a mystery that man called david psalms he says when the holy ghost comes upon you how do you think david wrote psalms by intelligence no the holy ghost came upon him and he found himself writing things the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of are we together now the lord is the strength of my life what can man do to me so that confession called psalms was inspired by the holy ghost and he said you can verify the spirit that is influencing you by what you are saying if the holy ghost comes upon you you will find yourself speaking psalms welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalms. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you call it confession. The Bible calls it Psalms. Understand what I'm teaching you now. That every time you are under the influence of the Holy Ghost, what he does to you is he makes you to begin to speak to yourselves in Psalms. Number two, hymns. You see, eh? do you know why these hymns don't die? There are many songs that are dead. They wrote them last year. They are dead by now before December. Because the depth in the spirit from which they were fetched, it was, it was not anything serious. Some of these hymns you will see 1890 something. Now of course there may be some scriptural errors because it was men that wrote it. But let me tell you the truth. Hymns, it does not just mean SS and S alone. It's a prophetic statement. These people that wrote hymns, you see, they were not just musicians. They were inspired of the Holy Ghost. Is someone hearing now? Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy drop round are falling. But for the shower. When you were growing up, you used to sing it. But now that you have become a matured African, you left what can lift you. I'm not just saying it must be chanting it, but most people do not know that they have been negative rainmakers to their lives because they have ignored the power of Psalms. Speaking to yourself in Psalms, in hymns. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and righteousness I dare trust the sweetest oh you still remember oh, only me on, Jesus name. on Christ the solid Please listen. Let me tie up something I'm teaching you because what I'm teaching you is very powerful. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking, speaking in Psalms, speaking in hymns. Then you get to this third dimension, speaking in. speaking in psalms speaking in hymns speaking 
in spiritual songs they are not just special numbers you hear me say you reign you reign hello you reign you reign you reign adonai you reign yeah na 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 what is that ask Sam who wrote the song that when it came to him is that his language did you not hear the Bible says though I speak with tongues of men and of angels there are communications that do not belong to this realm but are needed in this realm are we together now tongues is one of them that when someone begins to pray and you are now even praying in tongues it does not make sense but the bible says you are reacting to the influence of the spirit and although men may not understand there is a programming happening in the realm of the spirit spiritual songs hallelujah listen then the bible says something very interesting it's saying making melody in your heart in your heart how do you do that your heart has a voice is that true she said to herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment say not to yourself who shall ascend listen let me tell you this these are simple but profound mysteries paul would not gather in front of god's people and be wasting their time teaching them jargons these were the ladders that he followed himself to ascend these realms of strange power speaking to yourself in psalms psalms means psalms in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over the city they watch it in vain when the lord turn again the captivity of zion hold on that means at any point in your life you begin to sense you know how people sorry for the use of words you know how people throw up something within is what causes it isn't it you start feeling you want to throw up that is how it is in the spirit Shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. from a background where no one has risen show me a man surrounded by failure causes poverty but then you know how to be filled with the spirit that the moment the presence of god comes don't keep quiet the next thing is to begin to speak to yourself in psalms speak to yourself in hymns and spiritual songs prophetic rainmakers creating a climate of favor a climate of glory a climate of grace a climate of longevity a climate of power a climate of possibilities
Listen. Hear me. Hear me. Many years ago, when this ministry was at its infancy, I made a prophetic statement by the Spirit and I said, We will all be great. And that the greater part is we will all know ourselves. It was not a suggestion. It was a prophetic word that came from the depth of the Spirit. Hallelujah. What are you saying in your house? Or what is speaking in your house? Sometimes you are not the one saying it. But you are allowing demonic atmospheres around your house. Negative atmospheres. Let me tell you this. I'm sure it has happened to someone where you are soaking yourself in an atmosphere of worship or a message and then you fall asleep and you find out it still continues with a stronger atmosphere of power and sometimes you wake up under such an intense influence. Adam, who told you? What have you given permission to speak into your life? Who have you allowed to program your thinking, to program your mind, to alter you? Dear prophet of God, who did you start listening to that you stopped believing in yourself? What did you start listening to that suddenly made you all rules to become a weak person? Words make strong and words make weak. Words make wise and words make foolish. Words bring power and words bring limitations. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.